we are making the sensor part of the invader project where this instrument will measure what kind of chemicals are coming out of the chimneys. And th three things we are focusing on is to measure the Raman signal and leaves and fluorescence. And later, Tyro will talk about what these signals are. I'll focus on what the instrument will look like. So basically, we want to use a laser to identify what kind of molecules or atoms are coming out of the chimneys. So first, we need the laser. And in mostly, like when we fire a laser, it fires a certain color, like say green color, or in here, here it's kind of looking blue. So it fires and it, it hits the material, and basically you get the same kind of photons coming out. And if you are measuring the same photon as the laser, you basically don't get much information. This is considered the LiDAR technology where you can get information about uh, the speed of the object and so, and so on. But what we are interested in finding out what kind of material is this, so we look at the photons, sometimes they come out, it's a little different from the laser. And so our goal is to measure these photons and not measure the laser. And so what we have is a small telescope that looks at the same target, but in order for the laser and telescope to look at the same material, what we do is we call it a coaxial system. We use a mirror that bounces the laser here and another mirror that bounces the laser in this direction. So now the telescope and the lasers are looking at the same target. So you are shooting somewhere here and it's always aligned. So this system can move together. It doesn't need to be pointing or reoriented for different direction. And it's always measuring wherever the laser is fire, firing. And then after that, we put something called a notch filter, which blocks all this laser photons and let only the photons that we are interested in through uh, something called a spectrograph. And the spectrograph then draws, measures the spectra in terms of wavelength and gives you something like Raman signal, which will be something like peaks, which will identify what they are, a water band looks something broader, or lip signal, which are fine lines, or fluorescence signals, which is broader bands. And from there, we can exactly tell, are you looking at what kind of atoms you're looking at, what kind of molecules, or if you found any biological material. Thank you.